blessing and a curse. Why don't you tell us about it? Have you been playing any of these games? What have you been playing this week? I have, but unfortunately, I needed to take a look at my years, like uh, a, a year ago backlog that I started and never finished. Um, I dedicated to myself to being able to uh, finish the entire Final Fantasy series as in play every single mainline game um so there's a couple i haven't finished or even started for example i haven't done like i never played final fantasy 6 final fantasy 8 i never finished final fantasy 10 there's there's a bunch of them but i have had final fantasy 10 for a while and i decided to bite the bullet uh after uh finishing some other games in my backlog and i am uh i'm about I'm going to say like 16 or 17 hours into this game. Um, and is is anyone a Final Fantasy X fan here? Cole, I, th- I think you are, right? Yes, okay. one of my favorite games of all time. Why? <laughs> well, why? <laughs> because let, let me just, I'm not going to pull any punches. Exactly. This, this game is bad, guys. This is not yeah. a good game. No, goodness. This is good. such a step down from the... We're going, we're going hard in the introduction. We're going nine. hard into this. We, dude, I mean, it's, it's I, unbelievable. I, now, I did play it when I was, I was 15 or 16 mm-hmm. when it came out. So, I mean, there's that, but, you know, so who, who knows? I mean, we all had favorite <laughs> movies when we were young and they're terrible. True, but true. But, like um i haven't played it much since then i think the story is incredible i love the story really really do i love titus uh (laughs) what what specifically do you do you like about okay so um, i'm a hopeless romantic so Uh i love i love romantic stories in video games i like squall and renoa was like my favorite god God. unbelievable i thought it was unbelievable i loved it but i think i was young so um okay i don't know i just i love it and i think the game's incredible like the the vistas and stuff and the, the scenery is it's awesome blitz balls fun you, you i don't know um it, this, this is the love Mm-mm. final fantasy i'm i'm very surprised you don't like this <laughs> i'm sorry go i gotta start you said a whole bunch of just factually <laughs> incorrect things blitz ball is terrible oh, oh my god and the game. soundtrack is the best final fantasy soundtrack <laughs> out oh, there there's no, that, nothing that, else touches that very good soundtrack soundtrack's and, pretty yeah, good has a very i don't think anything anything else in final fantasy worlds touch ffx like right, oh well, god uh, the two xanarkin uh, theme on the piano literally uh, makes me want to cry at 36 year old man i want to ball when i hear that it's unbelievable let, let me let me just tell you why i'm having trouble with this game so like i said final fantasy 9 is my favorite final fantasy game obviously i rave about it all the time I did look th- look at that game through rose tinted glasses, but I played it within the last year and it definitely holds up. The battle system is great. The abilities are great. The, just everything about it. Story perfection. Now, Final Fantasy X, I, I was expecting, you know, bigger things since this is the, you know, first Final Fantasy for the PS2. So I was, I was expecting, you know, y- you can't mess up the formula that nine has set. You, you just got to build on top of it. But for some reason, they made some really peculiar choices. Yeah. The first one being they completely revamped the level up system. So instead of uh, instead of, you know, a classic level up system where, you know, you automatically gain ability that level up blah blah blah, level six, level seven, whatever, it automatically gives you, you know, stat bonuses. It basically gives you points that you can use after you quote unquote level up and it introduces the battle grid the sphere grid, the sphere. Grid. Yeah, the sphere grid. That's like I, I believe it's also in Final Fantasy 12 kind of. Um, but it's basically a system where you don't automatically learn new spells like fire or water or thunder. Ga. You have to make your way through the grid in order to uh in order to learn them and you only have as many points as you have leveled up so you know the the water spell might be like 10 different uh nodes down the pipeline but that was the thing is you have to build your characters out like that direction there's no going back really you do, yeah, and it, it also punishes you because you can only you can you can backtrack, but it will cost you one of your level up points. So it kind of punishes you from uh, from going back, and it expects you to you know look ahead and say, okay, this is the path that I want this character to go on. So it 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 threw me a little bit for a loop because right then it's it's making me kind of 
it's forcing you to build out your character and learn these spells that traditionally you would automatically gain through, you know, a spell book or through a new staff. Like it's it's forcing you to make these ability improvements by yourself. So most of the time, it's really annoying for me to go back and, okay, I'm not going to spend my one level up point every five seconds. So I'm just going to build up 10 of them <laughs> and, and just spend them all at once, which is really bad because the, uh, you know, through the battles, you're not leveling up. So it's not getting any easier the farther that you go because you're not spending your points. So it's kind of repetitive in that nature. So that's one critique I have of it. Second critique is actually the story. This, I, I can't really say too much of the story without spoiling it, but I think it, you get it, it's old enough to you can spoil if you want. <laughs> it, well, it, it's getting better, but the, I think the problem I'm having with this story is that the the main character is just so incredible. Well, every character really they're they're just very unlikable, Titus specifically because he just does not ask the most basic of questions. This man literally gets thrown into another dimension. It seems it seems like he doesn't know. It's like a completely different time. And he just shows up in this world and acts like everything is normal. He doesn't he, he doesn't know what happened to his town, but he'll just become somebody's protector for the heck of it. He doesn't ask them what their mission is. He doesn't care. He's just going with the flow. Same with every single one of your party members. Like they they have absolutely no logic for why they are doing it or they don't seem to reveal it until like it's revealed like 10 hours later in the story. For example, Titus literally was traveling with these people for like, I want to say five hours until it just came up of what happened to his hometown that he was from, that he was like transported to. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, that's what happened. Like he just never thought to ask. Anyway, I hey, digress. You can tell Alfredo's been holding this in all week, <laughs> <laughs> ready to go off on Final Fantasy. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, in his yeah. introduction, just tearing into it. Hey, La I will say this though. Look, the Metacritic score ninety two FFX, and the user score is eight point nine. So everybody's on my side of the fence on this I, one. I think. Hey, I can see at its time. I can see you know the the hooks that that it, it's just we we've, we've got so far of where we are now in JRPGs where these things like these anime tropes would not fly in today's world. Although, I mean, obviously there are anime tropes now in today's games, but I, I expect certain level of, you know, accessibility, cer certain level of storyline to be met for a final fantasy game. And I think the way I'm so critical of this one is because it's right after the best Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy IX. So, like, they got everything right, and they had every reason to succeed, and they just, it, it just isn't living up to the hype. But before I start start rambling, let me let me just say one more thing <laughs> about this game. Uh, the last thing I have is in, not, well, for the battle system specifically, um, they do, I will give them credit, they do some really interesting things with the battle system uh, as far as actual boss battles go, because they, in Final Fantasy X, they don't just do, here's the bad guy, fight them, uh, use all the spells. They basically do it where, here's the bad guy, there's some alternate mechanic that you can use to defeat the bad guy uh for example they'll have like a crane that if you hit with thunder a couple of different times then you can actually use that crane in battle to deal like massive damage they do some pretty cool stuff with that um in a lot of the different battles but by and far um this game actually forces you to use the characters that you do not want to use because in the regular battles, what they'll do is they'll give you three different enemies and each different enemy, just a regular randomized battle is only available uh, or is only available to be hurt by a specific character. So there might be a flying creature and that creature, for example, none of the sword people can hit it. None of the magic people can hit it because they're resistant specifically to magic and the sword people are can't just reach with a sword. So you have to use the blitz ball guy so that he can hit this flying monster with his volleyball. Also stupid as his battle weapon. 
they do things like that. So they set up that and then this one can only be hit by the person who has like a lance because it has the piercing property. But each party member only has like like one specific uh, quality to them, like piercing. One character has the piercing property. One character has the ranged ball attack. So, and you can actually switch between these characters while you are uh, in battle at any time. Uh, while at, at at any time that you use them. So, it, it I'm I'm conflicted because I want to like this game, and I'm 17 hours in. And I'm going to get through this game, but I feel like I'm just fighting it, fight, fighting what the game is actually giving me because I want to just say, oh, I finished Final Fantasy X and I didn't like it, but I got through it. End of rant. I have a question for Cole. How long has it been since you played it last? Um, 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> So RPGs are a lot different. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I lean like, on the side of Alfredo because when I played it, I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it. I'm not as sour on it as Alfredo is. I'm sour. But I'm if sour. I rank it with my Final Fantasy, like in terms of the franchise, is of the ones I've played, it's definitely towards the bottom. Okay, so 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 here I got to preface with this. First, you got to think I was 16. At the time, or 15, 2001, I played it one and done on release year. I haven't played it since. And um, also, this was my first Final Fantasy. So I feel like there's something to be said about your first Final Fantasy is always going to be because the games are quality. Like, it's a Final Fantasy game. If you've never played a Final Fantasy game and you start with 12, it's probably going to be incredible. I mean, I feel I feel like maybe not, but it was my first one. So it introduced me to everything. Then I played eight and seven and nine and, you know, went on from there but i still think though i still think it, this is regarded as a as a classic jrpg i mean mm-hmm. 92 metacritic and people still they look back at it more fondly than when it was i don't know i mean i, I still think it's it's you're right it's gold they, they do look look bad at back at it like it's you know the holy grail kind of but those but I don't think wrong, it, you know? I, I don't think it's in the same sense as Ocarina of Time. You know, you play mm-hmm. Ocarina of Time, it's not any good now. But people look back on it with this fondness, like for the first time they played it. But Final Fantasy X, I feel like holds up. Maybe I guess you guys are telling me no, and I, I and obviously I can't really speak to that because I haven't played it in twenty years. But Taylor, I imagine you've played it recently. What do you think? Never, I feel like you, you you're an older older. You've never played it? No, I don't. I don't. Don't my do brain, it. My brain doesn't like Final Fantasy. Really? No. I, I, I would have pegged you for a Final Fantasy player. No. Hmm. I will say, Cole, have, <laughs> like, do you play like turn like mod like the modern turn based games? Like, no, I don't play any. Like, I've quit. I haven't played turn based RPG since Final Fantasy fifteen. Wow. And fifteen is not turn based. Yeah. No. Well. Yeah. I know, that's the closest thing. So then, imagine before that would be like. I don't know. I haven't played anything since nine, probably Final Fantasy nine. Like when I like when I sit there when I was playing it, I was comparing it to something like Persona, and just seeing how far turn based RPGs have come. Well, what about if you compare it to seven though? To have Final Fantasy ten exist for us to get the evolution of the turn based yeah. genre. So it's important well, from that standpoint. It's I feel like you can say it's with Ocarina of Time in a certain aspect of this. This franchise, like that's one of the pivotal games in the franchise. What about if you compare it to um, Dragon Quest Eleven? I know you played that one a lot. It has to me; those are very similar RPG systems, like battle systems. Uh, like know, I mean, Dragon Quest Eleven is like a throwback, Dragon though. Kind of right. Eleven is one of my it's one of my favorite. I know RPGs. that's why I'm that's why I'm calling you out on that. How simple it is. That's what I'm saying. Also, it, just it, from a storytelling standpoint, it's not even like close. But if you compare the the battle, battle systems, systems, they're it's simple, classic kind of JRPG, Final Fantasy seven, eight, nine, ten style, right? Yeah, yeah, it's more simple like that. Like um, slow. There's slow pace. no like what Alfredo is describing with the like you have to use a certain character. That is something from older JRPGs that has kind of not been a thing anymore. Now, sometimes stuff like that would work. For example, I can give you a perfect example with um, Final Fantasy VII. Either six or seven, I forgot which one. But you're fighting a squid monster. Now, the squid monster 
he if he hits you, you're on a boat, he's in the ocean. If he hits you, you it's basically a one hit kill. There's only one solution to solve the to solve. It's almost like a puzzle in the turn base. You have to move everybody from the front to the back row. Yeah, I I mean, and That's things like that cool, would be a fun. Cool system that JRPGs like use, like where it's like they kind of play with the party system, play with the you know, play with stuff like that. Modern JRPGs don't do that as much, and I think it's for the better. I mean, it would be fine if even ten were doing that from time to time because it's like they would switch up the boss battles and just the mechanics in general. But the problem with this game in particular is that it's doing it for every single battle. Like it's straight up forcing you to do it for e these random ones, even, <laughs> you know, for when people want to grind, like you can't really do that because you have to use these specific characters, even though you might not like them personally, you can't, you can't really use the characters that you want to use the characters that you actually like. I have to use volleyball guy because he's the only one who can hit this person. He has a name out for Waka, you. Waka, Waka. Come on now. Okay. I, I, look, he, he hits <laughs> people with a ball. This is stupid. I love this okay. Game. <laughs> it's stupid. Ball's heavy though. It's, it's like, just so cozy though. It's like, oh, okay, man. but you're just hitting someone with a ball. Like, come on. And it's and more like he, one of those workout balls. Like the ones, I forgot they're called, but the ones you but, see, him like that but it's hurt that was kind of hurt <laughs> but it's the same effect as like me sla titus slashing somebody with a sword like this man is hitting people <laughs> harder with the ball than titus like his attack is higher <laughs> Hey, he's strong man y'all the so the our the rp the only turn-based rpg i played before final fantasy x was Super Mario was Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Swords or whatever. Great. That's a good one. That's a it's really unbelievable. Good. It's great. But like, but Final Fantasy blew me away though, like with the graphics and everything. Back then, those graphics were unbelievable. Everywhere you went, the summons and all. Oh my God. The CG cutscenes. Like, I remember That's playing that. Thinking, when, when the CG came up, we, we would sit the PlayStation controller down and just just watch it all mm -hmm. yeah even today i'm because i'm playing on my switch now and it's a remaster so they might have updated a little bit but the this uh the cutscenes are really really good to the point where i'm like wow this looks like real good so i can only imagine on the ps2 what it's like but they also do this weird thing where they mix the I don't know what it's called, like the cinematic ones. What are those called? The FMVs? FMVs, yeah. Yeah, where they're literally mixing the FMVs with cutscenes. So, like, you might get, like, a real gameplay cutscene for two seconds and then it'll just hard cut to the FMV and then it'll be another, like, five seconds of the regular and it'll go back and forth. So, not really sure about that. But the cutscenes look good. Have any of you seen that butt fighting anime? <laughs> Why? No. It, like, Please explain. I, I think it, I think it's called uh, Keiju Keiju Keijo. What? Uh, I, it's about uh, <laughs> girls who fight on like in with their butts. Um, <laughs> Have not seen this. The reason I bring this up is because all like Alfred, you were talking about volleyball man, Waka Waka, and I. The reason I don't like Final Fantasy is because all the games kind of read like that to me. I kinda, <laughs> I, they they are too anime for me because they they do they do latch on those tropes and some of those tropes are they're absolute anime. nonsense. They're, they're, anime. They're, anime. they're anime. They're anime. I like my RPGs to have some cute story gimmick for why all these things are doing uh, this. I like uh, Earthbound. Obviously, I love Earthbound because you know they've got the cute suburban superpower gimmicks. They've got. Uh, I love uh, Secrets of Mana because it's kind of really quaint fantasy, and I, I, I like uh, obviously Undertale because it's it's got this weird like love, love beats hate sort of thing going on. I just I can't get into Final Fantasy RPG stuff because it all reads like nonsense butt fighting anime. Kind of <laughs> is it? Kind of kind of is there? Are, like I would say Final Fantasy for a lot of the stories is bad anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's yep. still anime, and the battle system is good, so I forgive a lot of it. Like I love or some of them. I love Final Fantasy VII. It's not the greatest story in the world. It but was that the first one you played? Game. No. What was the first one you played? First one I played, I believe, was actually thirteen. Oh, how'd you like thirteen? 
I didn't like it. But I saw what this is, and I was like, okay, I think I can, like, like, if this is considered a bad Final Fantasy game, like, I see, like, I feel like a a bad Final Fantasy game, I consider style over substance. So and I consider <laughs> a good Final Fantasy game, mostly substance, but, I'm sorry, mostly style, but a good amount of substance as well. We could almost cut all this into and just post it as a Final Fantasy thing and restart the podcast. Because, yeah, I completely derailed. Uh, Sorry, but, we, but no, I mean we can keep going though. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna cut this out for sure. But yeah, we can keep, we can keep going. This this could be a whole conversation, and we might have to plan to do a whole conversation. About yeah, that. that's what I'm getting thinking. We might, because we might have to do a whole. Because the only thing is, is Taylor doesn't have a maybe. It was one week when Taylor's gone, we'll do it with Ben. When we'll just that'll be a, a topic. Yeah, I like picking topics when with 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 the guests that we have on on. You know what I mean? Or not the guests, the the, the Dukes. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, Final Fantasy is something that is has a wide range of opinions. And it does. We, we voiced a lot of them just now. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so.